like us to take a picture? Amanda. Yes, please. Right, we're setting off from Drimmon, from the Hawthorns, and we're going to walk to Roardenen via Balamar, about 14 miles. Fantastic. Showers expected, but we shouldn't get too wet because it's a bit on and off. First bit of the walk from Drimmon to Balamar the Hall. Absolutely sweating buckets and there's a little bit of a shower now to cool it off. 
Stones across Loch Lomond with average success, I'd say. We've just had a paddle, it's absolutely glorious, quite warm too. Even trickier. Just 
coming away from Loch Lomond now, slightly easier underfoot than it has been around the lake, but it's really, really interesting walking around the lake. Hopefully we're only another couple of miles from the Drovers Inn where we're staying tonight. Last views of Loch Lomond. Gorgeous walk. Yeah. Just coming out of Inverara and after spending the night in the Drovers Inn. Another gorgeous day. Relatively he easy to yesterday, hopefully. But isn't that a gorgeous day? Not a bad view first thing in the morning. Morning out of 
by a farmer probably but me doesn't laugh anyway under the railway really I've got another one aren't I? Just climbed for about a mile out of Bridge of Orkey. What a view. Going down to Inverora. Victoria Bridge. Finally made it to the Drove Road. On day six, from King's House to Kinloch Leven. So we're going to walk through Glencoe now. Just about to take the road up the hill. Joy. First view of the Devil's Staircase, the highest point on the West Highland Way, which we'll be climbing shortly. Right, nearly at the top of Devil's Staircase now. Quite tough, but hopefully worth the view. over the hill is Kinloch Leven.
about two to three miles left. So not too far. Coming around the hillside now. It's very industrial looking. But home for the night. Horse coming out of pipe from Kinloch Leven. Power station. Highly recommend the Forest View Guest House. Lovely and comfortable. And that's your view. Day seven. Here we go. First thing this morning, climb out of Kinloch Lever. It's hot. Finally got to the top. and a half of sustained climbing nearly. landscape where all the trees have gone. About eight miles to go now. Ben Nevis. See you tomorrow morning. Another bit of Ben Nevis from another angle. Wow, it doesn't even begin to describe the view. Finally made it to the end. Thank goodness. Right, we're just setting off to do Ben Nevis this morning. It's half six. But it's still cool. Slight shower. I'm gonna see how we go. Very, very steep. But we're kind of, I'm looking forward to it. How are you finding it? Don't know. Absolutely. I don't know what all the complaints are about. <laughs> easy, easy. About an hour into the climb. Halfway now at the Red Burn. raining and there's even some nuts without a coat on and no food and water but there you go about half an hour from the top of Ben Nevis Looks like the moon and the weather's holding for right, I'm at the top of Ben Nevis this is what you can see From Ben Nevis, we've been right to the top. Round trip, about eight hours, so not the fastest in the world, but a fantastic experience. Do think though, if you knew what you were letting yourself in for, you would not do it. <laughs> 